Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Welcome Before I know Welcome here with another video for you today. And today we're going to be playing some more of the Half Past Fate series. Right now we're going to be going into chapter 4 of the game. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Seven days ago. Alright. Cool. So we're going to be getting into chapter 4 right now. Now I've noticed that I've been having some problems with my audio for the past couple of videos. And I do apologize for that. I do hope you guys uh, uh, can bear with me as I continue to get adjusted with the computer and everything. Uh, yeah. Alright. We're back with Jaren and uh, apparently a new guy named Oscar. Ooh, let me change my camera. Alright, so we're back with Jaren and Oscar. Okay, fine. I really didn't want to tell you because it's so embarrassing. You know the tea festival yesterday? After my shift, I decided to stop by to check it out. Yo! Really? That's great, Jaren. It's good to see you getting out of the store and getting some culture. <laughs> You're a model employee, but sometimes it seems like you never want to leave work. It's because I love work, bro. I love video games, bro. Why would you? Why would I want to leave work? I literally have the best job. <laughs> I <laughs> I would work uh, here every day if you let me. <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. I met somebody at the tea festival, Oscar. Someone special. It was so great. We went to uh, we went to every single stand together. Even though I don't really care all that much about tea, she made it all seem really interesting. Then before I knew it, we had seen everything and we were saying goodbye. Did you at least get her number? For once, I did. <laughs> Only, I accidentally smudged her number. <laughs> the one time I actually had the guts to ask a girl for her number and I can't even read it. Wow, that's some bad luck, Jaren. <laughs> You're so adorable. This isn't funny, Oscar. It's tragic. Lost love. A misconnection. This is the stuff they make video games about. Well, if we're in a video game, then you can't give up now. You need to aim for the good ending. Maybe take a closer look at the number. You could be missing something. Oh yeah, you're right. It's like one of those detective games. Finding clues, shaking down suspects. <laughs> detective Jared is on the case. Okay, maybe not uh, shaking down people. Got any leads, Hotshot? Maybe this paper she wrote the number on will reveal some clues. It uh, looks like a receipt to me. Japanese writing. Maybe if you could read what it says, it might reveal some clues. It's the, it's the middle number right there between the 3 and the 3. Because I feel like I can see it's 3 something, 3, 8, 5, 3, and then 5, and then some other numbers. Hmm, sounds like I'll have to find someone who can read Japanese. Maybe. This logo seems pretty distinctive. Maybe somebody will recognize it? Well, you're off the clock now, and they're still cleaning up from the tea festival. Hopefully, if you ask someone, you can find some leads. Oh, also, you know how I always talk to the taco train? Or talk about the taco train? <laughs> they're in town today. Don't forget to check them out. Ooh, I remember back in the days when I was slinging tickets outside the theater, I always made sure to pick up something nice from the taco train on the way home. <clears throat> I can't gorge out before I do detective work first. Just saying, you won't regret it. Alright, Oscar, I'll keep that in mind. Wish me luck. Yo, we the boy Jaren now. Okay, who, who you guys be? Sounds like this couple is talking about video games. Empire Cardiac? Oh, that's a crossover series. That's super confusing. Alright, so before we get Empire Cardiac 3, please, no. I gotta catch you up on the lore. I told you, I don't care. So, Empire Cardiac 3 takes place literally 5 minutes after Empire Cardiac 2.9. Rewind mix. It sounds like a certain video game series I know. Which is a remake of both Empire Cardiac 2 and Empire Cardiac Reborn uh, Before the Dream. Uh-huh. No okay, yeah, Empire Cardiac just it, it, that's 
that's Kingdom Hearts, bro. Yeah, that's Kingdom Hearts. It's literally just two synonyms for Kingdom fucking Hearts. God damn it. <laughs> what is before the dream? Dream drop distance. Yeah, it's Empire Cardia. Yeah, Empire Kingdom Cardia Card. Yep. God damn it. Oh boy, this guy is, has a long journey ahead of him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yo, is this a video? We got this for a special promotion, but then the screen broke and we lost the key to open it up. So now it's just a fancy pillar of tech. That's unfortunate. Looks like we have the VR game on display. The, swar the stars between us. Join a cast of eccentric characters as they explore the cosmos, completing puzzles, collecting charms, and sharing personal stories of love and loss. I just noticed. Y'all see this fucking Lunk statue, bro? It's meant to be, bro. It's, it's meant to be. It's meant to be, bro. <laughs> huh. What do you know? Sounds like the story of my life right now. Love and loss. Goddamn. Gamer Force. Let's go. Alright. Yo, it's this guy again. Can I talk to you? No? Okay. You're just a background character now. Solar can solar candles. Uh, books galore. Okay. How far out can I go? Buy, sell, or trade electricity? I can't leave yet. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Huh. I wonder who left us here. Yo, it's nice. Can I talk to you? Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. I'm trying to coordinate the chief festival cleanup and somebody's got to read this checklist. Oh, uh, yeah, that seems like a lot of work. It is. I was hoping to get it done early so I could look for something I lost at the festival yesterday. But this is taking forever. Talk about the tea festival. Too bad the festival is already over. I really regret it. Too bad the festival is already over. I had a really great time. Oh, you were there? I'm actually one of the tea festival organizers. What did you think of it? You know, I'm not really a tea fan, but I really liked it. Except this one guy at the Lost Valley Tea booth was really be it was being really mean to me. A tea aficionado saved me though. She gave me a tour. I never thought I would have so much fun at a tea festival. Sounds like I owe her one. Actually, did you say Lost Valley Tea? Now that you mention it, you weren't the first person to complain about them. I'm not? A couple of volunteers said the same thing. My friend Amain actually got into a huge argument with them over something dumb too. Sounds exactly how they treated us too. We've given them a really good booth location near the entrance the last few years because their, bro uh, their product is so popular. But if they're affecting this many people's enjoyment of the festival, we may have to rethink their position. Or just drop them from the festival. Well, I support that decision. Thanks for the info. I should probably get back to work now. This is a checklist. <laughs> this checklist isn't going to check itself. Uh, can you read Japanese? You wouldn't happen to be able to read Japanese, would you? No, I know a bit of Spanish. Uh, I don't think that helps. Thanks, though. No problemo. Get in it. Yo, it's an old man. Hello there. So you wouldn't happen to know anything about the tea festival that is supposed to be going on, would you? The Sunset City Tea Festival yesterday. Yeah, of course. I was there. It was a blast. Yesterday. Shoot, I can't believe I got the date wrong. No wonder no one is here. I thought I got the time wrong or something. I didn't realize I got the whole day wrong. Well, I hope they got that translation figured out without me. Translation? Yeah, I was supposed to be. I was supposed to help a friend at Lost Valley Tea translate a couple of his tea brand names into Japanese. He says it's better marketing. You speak Japanese? Can you read it too? Sure can. Would you be willing to translate something written in Japanese for me? I suppose I could do that. Show me what you got. I got this. Since you know Japanese, I don't suppose you can make this out. Let me take a look at what you got there. Oh, drat. I must have left my reading glasses out. Oh, god damn it. I'm sorry, son. I can't actually make things uh, make anything out without my readers dang if you can find someone reading glasses i can take another peek any old reading glasses will do i'll keep an eye out an eye out good one wait does he does, oh, okay how about never mind i was just saying hi for sure uh what about you 
Dave, hello, it's me again. <laughs> Cell phone guy, god damn it. Yo, it's this guy again. Hey, you looking for something? I know this area pretty well. Yeah, actually, I could use some help. Uh, are we between 8th and 9th Street right now? I'm not sure I'm in the right place. You're yep, in the right place. What are you looking for? I'm meeting up with a friend from work to grab lunch. Seems like he's running late again. <laughs> How about you? What are you up to? I'm actually kind of in the quest for love. Quest for love? Whoa, that's awesome. So what's going on? Give me the rundown. Well, I met this really cool girl at the tea fair here yesterday. We had a really good time. I bet. I wanted to go to that festival park, but I couldn't get away from work. Yeah, and she gave me her number. But I accidentally smudged it, or smudged it with my dumb fingers. So now I don't really know what to do. Wow. Not going to lie, that sounds super romantic. So are you looking for her? Yeah, kind of. I'm sort of just investigating. I'm not too sure yet. Oh man, you have to find her. This is straight out of a rom-com type of thing. You think so? Yeah, man. Imagine the look on her face when, despite all odds, after a week of looking for clues, you track her down and together you re uh, you two reunite. God damn, that is a rom-com. It'd be so beautiful. You're totally right. Thanks so much for the pep talk. I'm going to keep working to find her. Honestly, I wish I had something like that in my life. Instead, all I have are business meetings and being stood up. Do you have a photo of her or something? Maybe I've seen her run. Ugh, I wish. That would make this so much easier. Don't sweat it. I bet if you keep going at it, you'll find her eventually. I hope so. Okay, I'm going to keep looking around. Oh, and if you have time, I highly recommend checking out the Gamer Forge. That's the store I work at. Yep, I will. Let me know if there's anything I can help with. Good luck, man. I think they're waiting for someone. Palabra. Also waiting for someone. What's good? Hey man, what are you hauling? Nothing much, just clearing away some tables and wares from the festival. There's, the going's been pretty slow though. I forgot to bring my dolly, so I've had to haul everything myself. Damn, that must be a workout. Yo, that logo's on the thing. So you're telling me, <laughs> you're telling me. Plus the festival organizer over there keeps giving me the stink eye. Almost everyone else I already is already packed up. I would have been out of here, but this last box is too heavy for me. Oh man, maybe I can help. That's awfully kind, but I can't let you do that. Can't have you uh, getting hurt. It's a liability thing. I already texted a co-worker, but he said he'd be busy for another few hours, so I'm pretty much stuck here until he frees up. That's a bummer. Can you read Japanese? I don't suppose you can read Japanese. Hell nah. <laughs> oh wait, heh, <laughs> nah. I can only speak some scraps I pick up from the job. Yeah. He's on boxes with the last one too heavy. Haha, <laughs> what about you guys? He's talking about the muffin he just ate. She's completely interested uh, in what this guy is talking about. He's explaining something in great detail. The American muffin with which you are familiar did not come into existence until the late 18th century. When chemical leaveners like sodium bicarbonate became available. Wow, how about that? But to truly understand the importance of quick breads, you must first understand the socio-political climate in which they arose. Sure, yeah. Since the dawn of recorded history, humanity has sought to organize itself into social structures. Hey, this sounds like it might take a while. I really need to get going. Hmm. Electricity? Okay, what about you guys? What this guy's trying to decide what laptop to get. She's looking for a laptop with a numpad. Good luck. This one has a great screen, and this one has a great keyboard. If I cut them at the hinge and swap the halves around, I'll have a really nice laptop. That's not how it works. <laughs> He's like, that's not how it works, man. He's commenting on the camera's button actuation feel. Alright. I think she works here, but I also don't think I've seen her look up from the magazine once. No lawyering in the aisles unless you're buying something. I'll get out of the aisle. You wouldn't happen to be able to read Japanese, would you? What about my life makes you think <laughs> I, um, makes you think I would know Japanese? Just thought I would check. Ah, uh, chit chat. So, what are you reading? 
Are you going to buy anything or are you just annoying? Answer questions with questions, are we? Really? Don't you have anything better to do? Apparently, I don't. Fuck. It may be the... This may be <laughs> the most bored person I've ever seen. It's just a bird that's playing. No, it's super bored. Hi there. Welcome to electricity. Or whatever. Uh, I'm only here to answer tech questions. How may I help you? Uh, is there any chance you know how to read Japanese? I can recognize some kanji characters. Sometimes the boxes shipped here are stamped with them. So I've leaned over a few... So I've gleaned a few over the years. Oh wow, do you think you could translate something for me? Unless it says fragile or expedite shipping? Probably not. I don't think that would be helpful. So, buttons on the shirt? Uh, or what? Not, nothing. Just a joke. Buttons on the... I don't get it. Because you said so... You know, like... So... With a needle? And thread? So buttons? On the shirt? My grandma used to say that all the time. Oh, I get it. <laughs> nice. That's a good one. Her grandma's a funny gal. Yep, she definitely has a sense of humor. Nice, nice, nice. This was helpful. This was helpful. Those wouldn't happen to be reading glasses, would they? They are glasses, how you them for reading. So, uh, yeah, right, well, I was wondering if it was possible for me to borrow them for a moment. Well, I can't just hand over my reading glasses. I need them to read this checklist. Please, I'm on a quest for love. Is there anything I can do? A quest for what? I just really need it for something important. Pretty please? <sighs> okay, how about this? It's probably impossible, but it's about the only thing I can think of that would convince me to lend a stranger my glasses. Anything. The main reason I volunteered to do this festival cleanup today is because I was hoping to find something I lost yesterday during the festival. If you find it, I'll lend you my glasses. What are you looking for? It's a receipt for a game that I pre-ordered at Game of Forge. I was hoping it would be, uh, it would be in yesterday. So I brought it to the tea festival, but now I can't find it. Hey, I work at Game of Forge. No kidding. Well, that's some dumb luck. Is there anything you can do to get me my game? Unfortunately, without the receipt, my hands are tied. Of course, I knew I'm screwed. Well, hey, maybe I can still help. Do you have any idea where you lost it? The only thing I can think of is that I must have thrown it away with my lunch receipt yesterday. If you're willing to dig through the trash and find the receipt and get me my game, then I won't be in such a hurry to wrap this up and I can lend you my glasses. Say no more. I humbly accept your request. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get back to this list now, for sure. Uh, yeah, I never got close enough to without. The thing is, <laughs> the things we do for love Deep breath. Oh no, nothing but old tea bags and softy flips. I don't see a receipt here. Damn. Uh, yep, there's one right here. There we go. Deep breath. Nothing but old tea bags and. Hey, wait, it's the receipt. Not even staying with tea. The tea festival is a miracle. Kind of. Nice. Nice, 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 no, I was just gonna ask if you could check the receipt to the Game of Forge for me and pick up my game. At this rate, I might be out here until it closes and I really want to start playing it. This, I can handle. I'll be back with the game. Okay, I still have the receipt. Just to make sure. You. Give me game. Karen, I thought I told you to get out of here. Actually, I'm back because I'm running an errand for someone. Oh, sure thing. What's up? <laughs> just the boss like, bro, I thought I told you to get the fuck. Okay, I went around looking for some clues about Anna, and I think I managed to track down someone who would be able to help me translate this Japanese. But, uh, long story short, I need to pick up this game for someone. In exchange, to borrow someone else's reading glasses. Or something. Glasses? What? Back up. You made that story a bit too short to follow. Don't worry about it. The important thing is that I have this receipt, and I need the game for a quest. Oh, it's a fetch quest. Got it. Okay, let's take a look here. Gimme game. Gimme game. Gimme game. Gimme the fucking game. 
One copy of Fire Tonight, an environmental puzzle game where you where you brave a city on the fire to get home to your boyfriend. Hmm. It kind of reminds me of a song I used to listen to a lot. Well, you find that's good taste. I hear this is a good one. What can I say? I have tasteful friends. Hey, I'm telling you, branching out and playing indie games you haven't heard of before, that's how we keep our industry alive. No need to tell me? Exactly. Just like half past face. <laughs> Imagine that, and just like this entire series is just <laughs> freaking sponsored by them. Which is not. I bought the game. I spent my own damn money. <laughs> Here's your game. Would you like to sign up for it? No, I would not. Take the glasses and go. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, I wasn't at work. I found the stylish specs. Would these work? Let me see here. Yeah. How do I look? Like a guy who can help me translate Japanese. Alright, alright. Young people these days. So what do you need translated? This. Much better. Amazing. The difference some glasses can make. All right, let's see here. Hmm, seems this is from a ramen shop. A ramen shop, Shio Ramen, and an order of gyoza. Whoever this belongs to tips generously. They're a keeper. God damn, I just saw. Yeah, she's pretty great. Hmm, that's all about there is to it. Thank you. The ramen shop is a great lead. Now I just need to know which ramen shop. Good luck with that. There are tons in the area. Ramen has gotten really popular. Ramen is great. Maybe I can find another clue with, uh, to narrow it down more. I expect you'll want to return these glasses. Yeah, thanks again for your help. Don't mention it. Thanks for letting me borrow these. No problem. Thanks for bringing them back. Anytime. I forgot how bad my eyesight is. It's so much easier to see with my glasses. Same logo, yeah. I wonder if Trevor can tell me anything about where this receipt came from. There we go. I have this receipt which has a logo that looks a lot like the one on the side of your truck. Do you think you'd tell me if it's the same logo? Sure thing. Let me see the receipt of yours. I saw this logo on the side of your truck and I noticed it has sort of looks like the one on yeah. Yeah, that's the same logo. I was wondering if the logo was for. It's for a small collective of shops in Little Tokyo. Together they own all the moving equipment and we move goods around to the businesses in the area really that's great it means the place i'm looking for has to be somewhere in little tokyo great lead would you happen to know uh what shop the receipt is from sorry pal i don't if you knew the type of business i could look it up in the little tokyo manifest but first i need to get these boxes loaded dagnamit i can't believe i forgot my dolly Maybe I can find uh, maybe I can find a dolly for you. If you did, I'd be happy to look up whatever you need in the manifest. Perfect. Another case for Detective Jaren. Detective who now? It doesn't matter, man. Just The girl, I mean, woman. The one about the tea festival? She's just the best. She doesn't know much about video games, but she has potential. She's super smart, and all the best smart people are huge nerds. She just hasn't found the right nerd them yet. Don't get ahead of yourself. You can daydream about converting her to the dark side later. First, you have to find her. Right, right. I'm on it. So what's the latest, Oscar? Anything new since I've been in? Uh, you mean since yesterday? Yeah. Well, I just got a new puzzle game, Fire Tonight, and we're starting to take pre-orders on a new adventure game, Land of Screens. Oh, and someone traded a recently, a really rare copy of an older game called Lifeless Planet. That'll probably be picked up by somebody pretty soon. Anything actually fun? You better watch your mouth. Them smiling words, boy. <laughs> Them smiling words, boy. You know who ordered these games, right? Me, your employer. Alright, alright. I was just kidding. What's Land of Screens about? 
Oh, this is a good one. It's a narrative game that makes fun of the fact that society as a whole is just constantly glued to their technology. You know, Jaren, maybe you can learn a thing or two from this game. Hey, it's people like me that keep our store alive, you know? Yeah, 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 I know. Alrighty. You don't have to, uh, you don't have some leads to follow the detective? That's right. Thanks for reminding. Break's over. Back on the case. Dolly from the game, the lecture store, lecture nurture, Mr. Sakuraka. Oh, God, I just need to borrow a dolly. It's a matter of life and death. Uh, really? No, but it's one thing really important. Can you please help me? Okay, fine. Yeah, we do have a dolly, but it's in the back. If you gotta get it out for the you, but the help desk needs to be open until my lunch break. Can't you see sneak out and bring it back to me? Nope, consider me chained to this next uh, to this desk until lunchtime. Tell you what, it's a couple bucks. You grab me a bite to eat, then I can take my lunch break and grab it for you. Wow, I'm surprised you trust me with your money. You seem like you really, <laughs> you seem like you really needed that dolly. Besides, if you did run off with my money, at least something exciting would have happened today. It'd be worth it. Well, you can trust me. I'm on the quest for love, and I'll be back with some food in no time. Sure, you do you, man. For sure. I got some dollar roonies. Gotta go get him something with the fucking truck. Sure, but it'll take a while, because I'm swamped. My order's sketched. Yep. Luckily, I have some gas cans. That's just really interesting. That'd be a half hour wait. Whoa, that long? I already got just one of this weird. I'm backed up. Is there any way I can help think, speed things up? Tell you what, if you just collect some orders for me, I'll free, uh, free me up to watch a girl. Then I can slip in an extra order for you. Well, if it's the only way to get an order in, you can call me order to take your Garen. Order question, you might want to write it down. It makes, a lot thing, <laughs> makes it a lot easier to remember. They don't call me detective order for nothing. Okay. I'll just have a Tuesday special. Yeah, it's a Tuesday special, huevos rancheros, and no beans. Sounds good. I'll get to work on these, and I hope you get the right orders. I'll be stuck to remaking a bunch of things, and all of us will be happy. Huevos rancheros, let's go. Tuesday special. Enchilada plate, no beans. Let's go! Got through that whole line. Thanks for the help. Here's a burrito you ordered. Say, if my order doesn't keep, uh, guy get, doesn't get back here soon, I may have to order. For, uh, I may have an offer for you. Oh, neat. I have a pretty cool job already, though. I really shouldn't say yes to another thing. I really gotta get going. Thanks, though. Palabra. Let's go. I got this boy a burrito. I'm finna. Finna get this chapter done with. Throw this burrito at me. What you get me? Hope you're alright with something zesty. Excellent. As promised, I'll get you that dolly. This guy's this guy's riding a goddamn segue at work. And I get out of here while I tuck this <laughs> tuck into this burrito. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. Give it to him. Here, I managed to find a dolly to help it move some boxes. Oh, hot diggity. You're a lifesaver, buddy. Let's go. That's how it goes in the back of the truck. Phew, thanks for the dolly. That would have been impossible otherwise. Here, you can have it back. Nice. Now that... That's out of the way. We can look over the manifest for you. Do you know what kind of business we're looking for? I think I'm looking for a ramen shop? Okay, ramen. Ramen. Ah, here's one. Maneki Noodle Bar. Seems like the one you're after. Awesome, thank you for tracking it down for me. No problem. 
All right, Detective Jaren, let's take a look at our clues. We found that receipt is written from in Japanese. An old man was able to translate it after I found him some reading glasses. The receipt is from a ramen restaurant in the order of ramen and dumplings. The bonus clue is that Anna left a great tip. What a kind lady. The receipt had the same logo as the truck which belongs to the stores of Little Tokyo. A little Tokyo trucker checked his manifest and found a ramen shop called Maneki Noodle Bar. Man, why Little Tokyo? That's on the opposite side of the city. Looks like I'll need to find some time to head out there soon. That's where the trail leads me. What kind of long <laughs> it's kind of a long shot, but at least I can get myself some ramen. Huh. I wonder if there's some ramen flavored tea or tea flavored ramen. <laughs> Maybe I should learn some more about tea before I see Anna again. Either way, this is gonna be fun. For sure. I didn't return the dolly. Alright, I believe that's gonna be the end of this one. Because this seems like it's going to be chapter 5. And it is. But yeah guys that's going to be. Uh, that's going to end up doing it for you guys today. Uh, yeah hope you guys have been enjoying the series as much as I have. It's been a pretty great series so far. It's only been about 4 chapters so far. And I believe I have about uh, 8 more to go. <laughs> but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time. I'll see you later.